Hello. Today I have for you a small pelican uh, from uh, my fountain pen collection. It is the pelican M150. It is a small fountain pen. It is um, made in uh, 1997. And how can you determine that uh, it is made in 1997? I want to show you this uh, logo of uh, Pelican on the top of the cap. And you can see this is an imprinted logo. So the Pelican uh, company changed uh, its imprinted logos. I will show you this Pelican. M800 from 1987. You can see that uh, we have an imprinted Pelican logo in comparison with this model, which has a painted logo on the top of the cap. So I can say for sure that uh, this M800 is a uh, from from 1997 or even uh, younger a beautiful pelican i will compare it with uh, as a size reference with a lamy 2000 and uh, with uh, this pelican m800 so you can see them okay as um, it has um, weight, quite low weight, we will see. It has only 12 grams and it's a nice piston filler from Pelican. What is interesting about this um, small fountain pen it's um, quite elegant i love the uh, black with uh, gold trimmings combination on this uh, fountain pen we can see on the ring um, golden ring on the cap of it the imprint germany and pelican Of course, as a particular trait of the Pelican uh, company, the clip on the um, cap, it has this uh, Pelican uh, beak. It's quite uh, beautiful, as you can see. It has a screw cap we can see the pelican the steel nib from pelican i love that pelican uh, imprints on the nib the size of the nib it's an f nib and on the back we have this uh, plastic feed this uh, fountain pen has an uh, ink uh, window unfortunately you can't see it uh, in uh, this lighting but the, the ink window is here and as i told you it has a piston um, mechanism i won't um, screw it because it uh, momentarily it has ink on it this is the reason why uh, you don't uh, see the um, ink uh, window but let's um, let's um, drain this um, fountain pen i will drain it so bear with me so when you drain it you unscrew this uh, little cap let's drain it you can see one drop two drops and yes we don't waste the ink so look closely 
Now I, you already see the green ink window and the plastic knob. We unscrew back and it still holds ink. But now you can see the ink window. This is a quite um, nice Pelican fountain pen. As I've drained it, because I've drained the ink out of it, I can show you the characteristic trait of uh, all Pelicans. So look how easy it is to remove the um, nib. And this is the barrel, so it's um, quite easy to clean um, to clean up this um, fountain pen, as it's uh, easy to clean all Pelican fountain pens. So I will screw back on the fountain pen. Let's see if it uh, still writes. So it's a Pelican. M one hundred and fifty from nineteen ninety seven. It's a piston filler. It has a steel nib, gold plated. It's an F nib, a fine nib. It weighs only 12 grams with ink. So it's a um, very, very useful fountain pen. A small fountain pen, a reliable partner when you have a long session of writing some uh, might consider this a small fountain pen but um, for me it's uh, quite uh, uh, good because uh, you can um, post the clip and um, you see this has a nice shape and uh, it is quite practical I hope you've enjoyed my small review of this um, interesting uh, Pelican fountain pen. I strongly recommend this type of fountain pen if you are new to fountain pens. This has the best um, traits for, the, um, for its price. So think about it. We have a piston filling system. We have a brand, a German brand, a well-known German brand. And we have this classic, classic look to it. This um, black and gold trimmings. So uh, for uh, its price, uh, I think it's uh, unbeatable. The only downsize, if you consider it a downsize, is the steel nib. But uh, it's no problem because um, it writes like uh, a gold nib. So... Um, I strongly recommend this fountain pen. If you've uh, enjoyed my small review, please support me by uh, subscribing to my channel. As always, I wish you a good day. Thank you very much.